Welcome to another update on EDG Toolbar. In the previous update, I showed you what EDG Toolbar is or was and where I'm going with it. Today, I want to show you my first steps of what I started working on for this new iteration of this project. So let's go to my screen and I'm just going to start showing you things that I came up with. All right, so here we are in Excel. And as you remember from the last video, we had our EDD toolbar and Excel Auto Format toolbar. What I did is I created a new toolbar called Import Export. So right now I'm starting this as a separate project, as I said, and then this will be integrated into it. But where I want to start with a cool new features, of course, you know, you got to keep yourself motivated. And what I have here is Import Zip and I import PST. So let's start with the most boring one. We're gonna do zip file. Let's say a client sends you a zip file and they say, I have a bunch of stuff in here. I'm not really sure what it is. I'm trying to open it and it takes forever to open. Well, here's what you can do. You can import the directory list of a zip file into Excel without unzipping it. So I'm gonna click on import. I will click on my zip file. Like pretend the client sent it to me. I click on open. And bam, the content of this zip has not been extracted. But we simply uh, took a directory list and loaded here. Now, what you can do with this now is you know what's inside. You can kind of do some analysis. Uh, you can see what file names are there, what dates they relate to, uh, compressed, uncompressed size, and things like that. And now you can create some kind of tally report or... Um, like a pivot chart to show to show client uh, what it actually contains. All right, so this is like a directory list for a zip. Kind of cool. Uh, you can even let um, Excel do a little bit of analysis here. If you have a new version of uh, Excel, you can click on Analyze Data, and it's going to go through and say like, hmm, what can I uh, make out about this data? And usually it tries to come, come up with like a few weird suggestions like analysis by director. Actually, this is not bad. Let's, uh, let's do that. So it can tell you how many files you have per folder. That's kind of cool. And we can go here and uh, extension SVG appears most often. Okay, let's insert this guy. All right, so now you have a report of um, document extension. So how many documents of each extension you have. So now you can take this and you can send it to a client and you know, it looks kind of cool. So this is where I started with the, is the zip file import. But um, the exciting thing I worked out is how to do the same thing with the PST, right? So we don't just, um, we're not gonna be doing like a processing processing, but we're simply going to tap into a PST file and read its content. So let's do that, make a new tab. And there are a couple of options here. So first, do we want to list attachments or not? Um, let's not list them for this uh, first iteration, but you can obviously list each attachment on a separate line. If you don't check it, it's just gonna be semicolon list delimited list. Uh, fast scan, less metadata. This one, we can skip some metadata fields so it goes faster. And how many characters do you want from your body field, right? Doesn't make sense to load whole body into a cell in Excel. It's going to be kind of crazy, but you could. So let's just go with like 200 character preview. I'm going to say import and let's go. Let's pick out Albert Myers here. All right. And so this is going to scan through file uh, messages in the folder and bam, there we go. It's loaded. So this one was a pretty small one, but we'll do a bigger one later. So now we can expand some of these columns. And now what we see is we have a doc ID generated. Uh, I'll, I'll have a place where you could specify your own prefix and stuff like that. What is the record type? Since we chose not to list attachments, they're all going to say email, a PST name. What is the internal path to a PST where this data came from? And we have an entry ID from to CC date, subject, and our email body preview, right? The 200 characters. And if we have any attachments, they'll be listed here. So how many attachments message had and the list of attachments. So what do people use this for? What can they use it for? 
Uh, one of the situations I've seen is client sends a PST file and says, we're trying to figure out who the custodian is. We're not really sure, you know. So one of the quick ways uh, some people do is um, they say, all right, well, let's um, let's see the, let's look at the sent item and see who is the person who's sending the data. So if you do filter by sent and then you click on from, well, clearly there's only one person here. So you can kind of guess who custodian of a mailbox could be. Uh, you can also graph things out by uh, date. And uh, like we did before, you can click on analyze data and you can let Excel do some analytics, right? To kind of figure out uh, what's going on here. So uh, appears, so schedule something appears most often. So this is the email subject that we see most of the time. Um, not super interesting. Ooh, accounts for deleted items, accounts for majority of the relative path. Okay, well, maybe we can map that out so you can see how many messages you have per folder. Again, we're doing all these things before we even started doing any processing. Uh, so that's kind of what the idea here is. Um, let me let me load a bigger PST just so you kind of see what the performance is. So I'm just going to say... Uh, import and we're going to take a 500 megabyte one and while it loads i'll talk so idea is this isn't meant to replace processing this is your quick preview of what is in it what is in the psd file and by the way you can control click and select multiple too so you get a preview what's inside what to expect so you saw just now in few seconds we were able to take 500 megabyte psd and load its content into Excel for analysis. So I, I think it's really cool. I don't know if too many people will find it useful, um, but I, I really like it. The only thing to be like super careful with if you ever to send this back to a client, um, make sure to explain to them like this is a preview. Don't try to work with this because next thing you know, you're going to get this thing back highlighted in every color of the rainbow, you know, yellow, purple, green, and say, produce this, extract that, export that. Like, whoa, 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 we're not doing that just yet. This is just for you to look at. You know, it needs to be loaded to a, you know, proper review environment. So that would be one thing to be careful with. Um, but that's it. I mean, this is the... This is, this is what I've built so far. We can import PST and we can import zip. So I'm gonna need to put some controls here so we can control our um, numbers, you know, control numbers, whatever the starting number is. And by the way, if we want to list attachments, let's do a small one just so you can see how it looks. Um, super quick. And I'm sure you're going to expect that. There you go. So those are our attachments. They come up on a separate row. And if we expand all this, you see these are our attachment names. All right, so now this creates basically like a real dat file. Uh, again, you don't really want to work with it with like a real dat file because these control numbers are kind of meaningless. You can't act on them. Um, but perhaps this is a good starting point for somebody. Anyway, that's all I got for you for this update. I'm going to keep working on this. I'm very excited about it. So I'm going to add some more features and do some cool things. And uh, I will give you another update when I have one. All right. See you guys later.